The U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken is scheduled to meet with Mexico's president. This as a migrant caravan is making its way to the border right now. We know that an estimated 8,000 people are believed to be en route. And as Morgan Chesky shows us, that number is expected to grow. Is heading north. A group of men, women, and children, whose organizers say is now 8,000 strong, after an estimated 2,000 more joined in a single day. The caravan last seen in the Mexican state of Chiapas near Guatemala would be the largest since last year. Many of them desperate and exhausted. This father from Honduras sharing his three-year-old daughter is now too weak to walk. The U.S. border still more than a thousand miles away. In Eagle Pass, Texas, just days after these stunning scenes of migrant families lining the Rio Grande, U.S. Customs and Border Protection facing a quiet lull that likely won't last long. Outside an Eagle Pass shelter, we met Osmani, Marian, and Edison. Donde van ahora? Where are you going now? Oklahoma. Oklahoma? Los Angeles. L.A.? Dallas. Dallas. Oh, Marian from Venezuela pena. says oh, she's now que... waiting until her asylum hearing. After a five-month journey here, she called dangerous but worth it. Mexico's president now saying he'll meet with U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken, Texas Governor Greg Abbott, taking his own steps, installing more barbed wire on the border, and busing more migrants to primarily Democratic-led cities, such as Chicago and New York, both now buckling under rising numbers. Governor Abbott has made it clear he wants to destabilize cities and send in thousands of migrants and asylum seekers. All right, thank you so much. That was Morgan Chesky reporting. Now that caravan makes its way north and lawmakers in Washington are working to reach a deal over the southern border policy. Right now, there's no clear agreement.